For professional filmmakers and serious content creators deeply invested in Sony's cinema ecosystem, the growing anticipation for the Sony FX3 II has become almost tangible. The original FX3 was a highly capable and compact cinema camera that offered excellent image quality, especially in low light. However, as competitors began to push forward with groundbreaking innovations like internal RAW recording, open gate capture, and advanced color science, the FX3 gradually began to show its age. While it remained a favorite among solo filmmakers and mobile production teams, its lack of certain professional features started to limit its potential in modern workflows. Now, with credible leaks and regulatory evidence suggesting a late 2025 release, excitement around the Sony FX3 II is at an all-time high. For many creators, the real question is no longer if this camera is coming, but whether it will be worth the wait, or if rival brands have already pulled ahead in the race. Unlike the vague rumor cycles that often surround camera releases, the Sony FX3 II seems to have a concrete foundation behind the speculation. Multiple regulatory filings and product registrations in Japan strongly hint that Sony is actively working on a new high-end video-centric model. Industry analysts who have reviewed these filings note that the described connectivity options, heat dissipation design, and power requirements align far more closely with a professional cinema camera than a consumer-grade or hybrid mirrorless body. This effectively rules out possibilities like an A7V or an RX1R3, both of which would face serious thermal and power management issues under such specs. Taken together, the evidence points directly toward a new generation of compact cinema camera, almost certainly the Sony FX3 II. Industry insiders also support this conclusion, claiming that Sony's 2025 development roadmap heavily prioritizes the cinema and video production segment. The company is reportedly looking to address long-standing requests from the filmmaking community, especially those who love the FX3's form factor but wanted more professional-grade features without resorting to bulkier models like the FX6 or FX9. This puts the FX3 II in a crucial position. It's expected not just to improve upon its predecessor, but to redefine the compact cinema category for the next several years. At the heart of the Sony FX3-2's rumored upgrades are two major additions that directly address the FX3's biggest shortcomings, open gate recording and internal 12-bit RAW capture. These features have become increasingly common across rival brands, and their absence in Sony's first FX3 left many professionals turning to alternatives like Panasonic's S5 II, Fujifilm's X-H2S, and Blackmagic's Cinema Camera 6K. Open gate recording has become an essential feature in today's production world, especially with the explosion of multi-platform content creation. By using the full height of the image sensor for video capture, filmmakers can record in a taller aspect ratio and then reframe later for different platforms, horizontal for YouTube, vertical for TikTok and Instagram, or square for social media advertising, without losing resolution or relying on digital cropping. If the Sony FX3 II introduces open gate functionality, it would dramatically streamline content workflows for professionals who need to deliver across multiple formats. This kind of flexibility isn't just a convenience anymore. It's a necessity in the modern content ecosystem where multi-aspect delivery has become the norm. Equally significant is the addition of internal 12-bit RAW recording. For original FX3 users, capturing RAW video required an external recorder through HDMI, which added complexity, bulk, and extra failure points to an otherwise compact and minimalist setup. The Sony FX3 II, however, is rumored to eliminate that need entirely by recording 12-bit RAW video internally, preserving the maximum sensor data right inside the camera. This would mean incredible flexibility in post-production, allowing filmmakers to fine-tune exposure, recover highlights and shadows, and apply sophisticated color grading with far greater latitude. The jump from 10-bit or even 8-bit codecs to 12-bit RAW represents a major leap in image quality. It allows smoother gradations, finer tonal transitions, and more subtle control over color and texture, especially in complex lighting environments. 
For cinematographers and colorists, this upgrade could transform the FX3 II from a compact run-and-gun camera into a true cinema-grade powerhouse that can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with much larger and more expensive systems. Beyond those headline features, the Sony FX3 II is also expected to introduce a host of other refinements that strengthen its position in the professional compact cinema market. Resolution upgrades are one of the most talked about improvements. While the original FX3's 4K sensor still holds up well, leaks indicate that the FX3 II might move to 6K recording, with some whispers even hinting at 8K capture. A higher resolution would provide not just more detail, but greater flexibility in post-production, allowing filmmakers to crop, stabilize, or reframe shots without losing quality. However, higher resolutions also bring technical challenges, more processing power, faster data handling, and increased heat management demands. Maintaining Sony's signature low-light performance will be a key balancing act. The FX3 sensor, derived from the A7S III, was celebrated for its remarkable sensitivity and dynamic range, making it ideal for documentary, event, and night shooting. If Sony increases resolution, it will have to carefully manage sensor efficiency to preserve that same exceptional low-light capability. How the Sony FX3 II handles this trade-off could determine whether it becomes a true successor or just an incremental refresh. Another area likely to see substantial improvement is autofocus performance. Sony's autofocus systems have long been among the most advanced in the industry, and the FX3 II is expected to integrate the next generation of AI-driven subject tracking technology, possibly adapted from the Alpha 1 or the upcoming A7R6. This could include advanced facial recognition, improved eye tracking for both humans and animals, and more intelligent subject detection that adapts in real time. For solo filmmakers, documentary shooters, and run-and-gun professionals, this would be an invaluable upgrade, ensuring precise and reliable focus even in dynamic or unpredictable environments. Perhaps the most ambitious rumor involves the potential inclusion of a global shutter sensor. If true, this would mark a monumental leap forward. A global shutter eliminates the rolling shutter distortion seen in fast-moving scenes or during handheld pans, producing cleaner, more accurate motion. It would make the FX3 too ideal for shooting action, sports, or scenes with flashing lights. However, implementing global shutter technology in a compact body is notoriously difficult. It often comes at the expense of dynamic range or low light sensitivity. So while this remains speculative, even the possibility of Sony experimenting with a global shutter in the FX3 II underscores how serious they are about pushing boundaries. In conclusion, the Sony FX3 II isn't just a rumored refresh, it's shaping up to be a major step forward for Sony's cinema division. From open gate recording and internal 12-bit RAW capture to potential advancements in AI autofocus, sensor design, and ergonomics, this camera could redefine what's possible in the compact cinema category. If Sony delivers on these expectations while maintaining its reputation for low-light excellence and reliable color science, the FX3 II could become the new benchmark for professional creators seeking portability without compromise. However, success will depend on execution. If Sony can balance innovation with reliability and price it competitively, the FX3 II will likely dominate its segment. If not, it risks being overshadowed by rivals that have already embraced many of the features filmmakers have been asking for. Either way, the Sony FX3 II has captured the industry's attention, and its eventual release is poised to be one of the most significant camera launches of 2025.